Earlier this week, Zimbabwe's president visited Kenya, and in that meeting, Kenya's president called for the end of the sanctions by the West. I will show you the clip, and after that, I will comment. But before we get started, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Kenya's president, Uhuru Kenyatta, has called on the international community to lift sanctions against Zimbabwe. <laughs> Mr. Kenyatta was speaking outside the State House in Nairobi Wednesday in the presence of his Zimbabwean counterpart Emerson Minangagwa. Sanctions were imposed in 2003 by the US, UK and other Western nations in response to human rights abuses and alleged election rigging during the rule of Robert Mugabe. Here in Nairobi, to continue with our support of Zimbabwe against the illegal sanctions that have been imposed on that country and continue to cause undue problems, issues and trouble for the people of Zimbabwe. And this we consider to be unfair for these hardships are artificially created and we continue to call on the international community to remove these illegal sanctions. I thank Kenya for this support and solidarity for Zimbabwe in the call for the unconditional removal of unilateral sanctions that were imposed on Zimbabwe. I do like the fact that the Kenyan president called these sanctions illegal because that's what they are. There's no reason why Zimbabwe should pay billions of dollars to the people who stole their land and treated the people there so horribly. But that's what the West wants us to do. They want Zimbabwe to surrender and they want Zimbabwe to pay the white farmers billions of dollars. Now Zimbabwe has already agreed to pay that money, however, they do not have it. There's one thing I don't agree with the Kenyan president, it's the idea that this is hurting the people in Zimbabwe. Yes, this is hurting them, but it's also hurting us. And especially in this situation where there's war in Ukraine and food prices are going to go up, we need to increase farming in Africa. And Zimbabwe is the breadbasket of Africa. So these sanctions are making Africa less food secure. We have less farming, less food, and that's why the prices of food are going up. So in this situation, when we are fighting inflation, we need all the countries to farm more. And there's one country that could farm way more and we could all benefit from it. And that's Zimbabwe. Now, one thing I find funny is that all these Western NGOs and American government and all this Western EU and all these people, they're now so concerned about Africa. They're always like, oh, war in Ukraine, Corona, all these things, Africans will no longer have food pretty soon. You know how they always talk. But the thing is, if they actually cared about our food security, and if they cared about inflation on our continent and they would like to bring the food prices down, the best way would be to lift these sanctions from Zimbabwe. And that would be the best way. And that's why I think all the African countries should agree on this, that, you know, these sanctions need to end and they need to push it for more. This is just the beginning. And I do like the fact that Kenyan president is saying this out loud. And finally, we are all agreeing on this. Now, anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you very much.